Hello. Hi there. So you're just coming to the end of doing the level four qualification and I'm interested to know why you chose the course in the first place. I chose the course because I'm a teacher at school and I'm doing a little bit of mindfulness in school mm -hmm. but I really wanted to have that qualification to, to back it up. But the thing that really drew me to the course was the mm -hmm. compassion element. Oh, yeah. Because as a teacher, mm -hmm. um, I feel that that's an element that I really want to be getting across. Okay, lovely. So what do you think you've benefited um, from doing the course? How are you going to use what you've learned and how are you going to put it into work? Oh my goodness, I've, I've just learned <laughs> so much. It's really given me that grounding that I needed, mm -hmm. the confidence to know um, that what I'm delivering is, is, is right, mm -hmm. um, obviously with your amazing support, and that really is crucial for me that if I, that I have got somebody who I, I can go back to if yes. I need that. Yeah, of course. Um, so going forward, mm -hmm. um, I'll definitely be taken to, into school. Brilliant. So um, over my holiday, I'm going to really, really plan mindfulness and um, compassion through my scheme of work of where mm -hmm. I can put it in mm -hmm. um, make sure that in every assembly that we have in school that it's, it's put in there so mm -hmm. that's just part of the process yeah. um, I also want to take it out um, do some workshops with teachers because I go into other schools and do some well-being things with, with other teachers and also to for parents as well mm. Mm. And then I'd quite like to take it into my village and just do a, and, and do a course there mm. um, because I haven't really done very much mindfulness where no, I live, so no. that would be another. Wow, um, <laughs> you're yeah. very busy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, Andrea. Uh, so I was wondering about how you found out about the course. Um, I actually found out about the course from a friend, mm -hmm. and I had been thinking about. Um, sort of expanding my own practice so um, yeah so then when I heard about the course I looked into it a bit more. Mm -hmm. Great and so did you look on the website or how did you find out more information? Yeah I had a look at the website yeah. which was really informative Okay. and um, also I had the year or so before done the MBSR here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so um, you know I already knew sort of about uh, like the teaching style here mm. and, and that to the um, Sort of ethos and values sat around mindfulness sat quite comfortably with me. Mm. So mm. yes, that was really why I chose to come here. Yeah, yeah, lovely. And what do you think has been really helpful for you as part of the course? I think it's been really helpful um, in developing my own practice more mm -hmm. and looking at it more in depth. Mm -hmm. um, it's been really helpful, the aspect of the course of uh, learning to teach mindfulness and the elements around that. Mm -hmm. has been really useful and actually although sometimes doing the practical practices were really challenging for yes. me, <laughs> I, it's really been helpful in building my confidence in, in being able to lead a meditation and yeah. Yeah, so that's been really useful. Oh I'm really pleased, yeah. And so how do you think you're going to use the course? Have you got any idea when you've qualified? Yes, um, well the work I do is mostly with parents and children, mm -hmm. um, so I would like to bring it into my work um, and have it as part of um, working with parents and mm. helping them develop closer bonds and relationships mm. with their children and mm. to support their understanding of, of their children, kind of mm. getting in their mind, I suppose. Mm. Um, and also how mindfulness can help themselves as well in respect to their parenting. Mm -hmm. And also with children, I like I'd quite like to use it with children with, with the children as well, and kind of um, with the younger ones develop that sort of body mind connection mm -hmm. and how they link together, and um, so they can sort of learn to regulate their own emotions and mm. understand themselves better. Mm. Yeah, cool. It's going to be really rewarding for you, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah really enhance what you already do. Mm. Yes, I agree. I think mm. it will really benefit them, mm. you know, the families. Yeah. Mm. Okay, well thank you very much. That's thank wonderful. you. Hi Amy. Um, you've come into the end of the Level 4 qualification in Teaching Mindfulness and Compassion and I was interested to find out what attracted you to the course in the first place. Um, I guess it would be firstly that it's a Level 4 course. I wanted to have an actual professional qualification. Um, and also the, the mixture of academic and 
mm. experiential elements because mm -hmm. I wanted to deepen my meditation practice as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> All right, and what do you feel you've benefited from doing the course? Um, I've certainly have deepened my practice, which is what I, mm -hmm. I wanted to do, um, both informal practices and formal uh, meditation practices. Um, I feel much more confident about teaching them and I feel that I've got a better understanding of the actual science behind mindfulness as well. Mm -hmm. So it's hopefully given me the confidence to go out and mm. spread the word about mindfulness. Great. <laughs> and how are you going to do that? Do you, have you got an idea about that yet? Um, well, I'm a yoga teacher so I'm already starting to bring that into my yoga classes. I also teach at primary school, so um, I've already, again, I've already done some workshops in primary school, mm -hmm. and I do hope to start to do mindfulness courses and possibly teach one to one as well. It's mm. just I just have to work out exactly how that will will happen. Mm. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. That's You're great. Welcome.